Hey guys, Panzer Ace 007 here with another review for you from AK Interactive. It's the Heavy Mud Weathering Set, and it's really all one stop shop here. You get the damp earth effects, the wet effects for making your wet mud, the uh, Kursk earth, and the dark earth pigment, and of course, the all important plaster of Paris that's included in the kit. No more hunting around trying to figure out what uh, type of plaster to use. It's perfect. All right, to get things rolling along, we're going to put a little bit of plaster in a small little cup, and we mix in uh, the different mud effects in with it to get uh, your different layers. Um, I prefer to work in layers. It's a little bit easier. We're going to start out here with the damp earth and just mix it to about an even consistency, something uh, almost similar to like pancake batter, because uh, what I'm going to end up doing is loading it up on a brush and shooting it onto the model with uh, my airbrush, uh, similar to uh, the same thing that... Uh, MIG has perfected. Uh, seems to get a, a very good splatter effect, a little bit better than uh, trying to use a toothbrush and whatnot. Um, also for a little bit of texture I'm going to mix in a little bit of dark earth pigment, get a good recipe going for some nice uh, eastern front mud. And you get a fairly large amount in the set, you don't have to be really too shy, just mix it to the uh, consistency that you want and uh, just getting ready to uh, load up the brush here and splat up the mud. You can kind of see the consistency I was going for here. It's like uh, concrete or maybe a pancake batter, depending on what your taste is. So I'm coming in uh, with airbrush here, just shoot it across. Uh, sorry for the bad, bad angle. You can kind of see how it's starting to uh, get a little bit of splatter on there. Working on the back side, uh, the rear of the car, uh, driver side. Um, and also, you know, you can take your time with it. There's no real hurry and just kind of place it as you like. And uh, depending on the uh, terrain that you're trying to model, it just really depicts on uh, how far you want to take this. Now, I guess, I suppose you could take it too far, but you know, have some fun with it, check out the different consistencies with the uh, different effects and the different colors you can get and layering it from dried mud all the way up and, you know, within the earth, if you could go out there and, and dig it up, if you could dig it deep enough, uh, you get a different cross section of colors between the different types of dirt, whether it's just like an earth or a clay and uh, what not. So here starting on the other side I'm still just working my way around the vehicle still on the first layer kind of adding it up now I'm going with the uh, second layer uh, probably mix the uh, plaster just a little bit thinner this time to get a little bit more of a spatter and just having fun with it. Go at it. Go buck wild! And you can even come back and enhance it if uh, the way it comes off your brush, if you're not happy. I went in a couple times and just uh, hit it with the airbrush. And here I'm bringing in the Kursk mud for a little bit of a, just a different layered effect. This would be like the third layer and kind of get it a little bit more wet, damp, thin uh, plaster, if you will, to get it to work a little bit better. And a final layer just coming in with the, uh, with the pigment itself and catching the uh, mud while it's a little damp and kind of dropping it in there and getting a good mix for texture and you can even just go back and just add what you want with it. Uh, the secret I found, the key, is it seems to be just to build it up in layers and just take your time with it as with anything, uh, washes, etc. 
build it up in layers, take a look at it. If you're sitting on the fence, let it set up overnight, forget about it, come back to the bench, take a look at it. But uh, it's a really great set. It's all in one, like I mentioned before, all in one stop shop. Uh, the guys at, at AK really have took the even taken the guesswork out of what type of plaster to use because at first when I was when I saw uh, Mig bring this type of uh, weathering out on the scene, I was even looking around for different types of plaster from the household plaster that's a little bit too big and granular scale wise to even uh, dental plaster, which is almost too fine. So something in the middle, uh, uh, the Paris of plaster that you can find at a at your favorite art store, uh, and even some discount do-it-yourself kind of craft stores. But for those of you that might not be able to get to it, Mig's done you a, a solid right here and added the plaster to the set. Uh, here with the front of the vehicle going through a little bit more fine-tuning with a mix of the mud and the pigment together and just kind of touching up and getting a nice little build-up, get a nice little chalky feel to it. And even come back and just like again layer it again and splatter that mud right on there. War is a dirty place. And uh, what I'm doing now is coming back with a little bit of the wet effects, just damp naked on the brush and spotting in the freshest of the fresh mud, my brother. And just what would get a lot of attention, get a lot of repetition uh, as far as the building up if you're uh, just in a nasty, muddy, wet environment. And the particular environment that I'm going to set this Kuba wagon in is uh, the winter of 43 on the eastern front, uh, more specifically around the Chicasey pocket. And uh, from the research that I found, the weather report was uh, rather nasty with a offset of rain and snow and rain and snow over the past uh, month with with uh, Leap Stand Darty trying to break out the uh, Viking division. But uh, here you go, I'm adding some more wet effects to the top and just around all the cards just to bring everything together, make it all consistent and uh, really turn this mother out. So here you are, it's final shots. This is a finished product with different layers and boy, this little Kubel has been through the ringer, quite dirty and muddy. But these are just uh, some of the effects you can get with the set. Like I said, it's excellent, highly recommended. Um, akinteractive.com AK Interactive USA take a look at them they've also got them with some of your finer retail and internet outlets so hunt it down go buy it AK Interactive thanks everybody from AK Interactive for this review sample and I'll catch you on the flip